know what it is so welcome to the show welcome to the show welcome to the show and in this video we're going to review the real housewives of the potomac season six and in this episode i'm gonna go over episode one and this show is pretty much all over the place so bear with me <laughs> okay so we'll start off with wendy she is celebrating her new body she's got all the surgery done and i guess she's gonna showcase the the uh goods to all the women at this party called the nude interlude she's not admitting exactly what she got done other than the obvious and we'll see that later on of course boobs she probably got a bbl but you know the main thing is everybody was tripping out over that silhouette challenge that she used as an invitation she kind of jumped on that a little late <laughs> in the game but yeah she had all this surgery done and we're gonna see what she got done and then let's go to the green eye monsters so first we're gonna talk about Giselle so Giselle is like you know wondering you know everybody's questioning what's going on with her and the good Reverend Jamal and this is before all the stuff came out in, in public so we all know what's going on with that but she's focusing on Karen's opinion about about her you know since Karen pretty much cooked her and roasted her at that la at the last party uh, well they roasted each other so we'll see what's going on with that then we come to Robin you know she's walking on clouds you know she's building a new house with Juan you know he asked her to get married again so she's focusing on the house on the marriage and Juan has a stipulation it sounds like he wants more kids he wants to try for a girl and if he can have two or three he's happy with that and she sounds like she's obliging but it's kind of low-key like she don't really want to do it but she do want to be married again so so as long as she willing he's cool with that and he also wants them to start living a more holistic healthier lifestyle especially what they eat because apparently <laughs> she's not she's feeding the kids just chick-fil-a and fast food all the time and, and he's trying to get everybody on the health on the healthy tip which is good now we going over to candace so her and her husband just bought a 1.1 million dollar home in maryland I believe it's in Upper Marlboro. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know why you buy a, a 1.1 million dollar home in Upper Marlboro, but hey, I mean, I guess it's you know it's 1.1 million dollar home. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, they are taking care of Chris's uh, two of his kids over the quarantine, uh, COVID break or whatever. They're doing the old homeschool, and she's learning how to be a bonus mom. That stepmom ain't no joke, you know, especially with young kids. So she's going to find out how that's going to go. And Chris is uh, his employment. I don't know if it's lacking or suffering, but they just bought a home. But he's doing online cooking classes. I mean, I, there's got to be more to that. I'm, I'm just like, who's paying for this house? Like she don't I don't know if she's working, but he's doing cooking classes. I don't know. He must make a lot of money doing that. But um, I can't wait to see how that turns out and apparently he's still wearing condoms with them i mean they are practically married and she's still making him wear condoms because she don't trust the d like he must he must have been dirty before that's all i can think of but you know she put up with a lot with this dude so i guess it's worth it i don't know okay so now we're going over to ashley now ashley is about 10 days uh away from delivering this baby dropping another kid uh dean the, the little boy is like almost two years old and it seems like her husband is doing pretty good <laughs> no more uh scandals as of now so you know their relationship seems like it's pretty good she's finding out what it takes to be to uh be a good father she's you know watching her husband be a good father which is something she never had before you know her father pretty much don't want nothing to do with her and you know she married somebody michael who maybe he reminds her of her father that's the only reason i mean other than the money that's why i know they together 
it's all good you know they doing their thing they stacking up the family you know they celebrating a new life so good for them and now over to karen so karen and her husband ray are working on renewing their vows they're gonna have a new party or a new wedding and you know of course we can expect another over-the-top event from your girl karen and what else uh so she keeps talking about this fight between her and Giselle and they're probably not going to be friends. Well, they'll probably be friends one day, but right now I don't see how because they was giving each other that work. You know, she's talking about Giselle's husband, Jamal Bryant, and we all know what, what he about. <laughs> He's been, he been all over the internet in the news. And then Giselle talking about Karen's husband has a broke penis and she don't like sleeping with him and you know so they just they just doing the most with each other that that friendship is pretty much done so they need to apologize to each other but i don't think we're gonna see it right away okay so that was pretty much catching up on all the characters but the rest of the show was pretty much uh focusing on wendy's party now the part that was weird for me was watching the two little kids eat the cupcakes that were shaped like titties <laughs> you know they had the nipples on top and they didn't know what they was poor things but that was kind of weird to me I, I'm just gonna be honest I I never thought I'd see that but uh, anyway she lives far I mean she's like probably an hour north of Baltimore and anybody who knows the area knows that even Baltimore is far for somebody living in Arlington Potomac and upper marlboro so but as far as the party you know all the, all the women show up except for candace and monique of course so karen comes with her new friend named mia now mia is in her 30s and the thing about her is she didn't really make a good first impression it's a lot of things is off about her she's trying to make a a, a joke no no she was trying to be to be clever <clears throat> okay so mia was trying to be clever so i guess it came up you know how she said she has grandkids and they was like well how old are you she was like well i'm married to an older man he's 38 years older than me so he's 68 and they're like oh you're 30 and she's like no i'm 36 so <laughs> this boss entrepreneur chick is not that intelligent i mean she comes off as an airhead right now so we'll see <laughs> that was just too weird but the other thing is you know so while they're talking about you know, what surgeries and stuff because wendy starts talking about you know what she got done she so she so wendy starts to present all her work <laughs> what they're there for so we see she's got her boobs done you know she, we see she's got some lipo and of course she's she's got her butt done so she had like a, a small bbl done and it looks like she's got maybe a forehead or forehead surgery to lift it up she had a lot of stuff done as she says she got some perks but no she had a whole bunch of work done and then the conversation goes off on plastic surgery so this new woman mia she looks like she had a gang of surgery done I mean she looks she just looks plastic and made up so you know she's telling everybody what she had done which was a plethora of stuff and then she ends it with i even have my clit done and that's when everybody <laughs> really looks at her with the side eye they like man wh where'd you find this chick you know leave it up to karen to bring this chick oh man right after she mentions her clip being done you know everybody starts thinking man why would you need that done you know you must have been ran through she must have been she must have been banged to death but uh you know that's what the women are saying not me that's what the women are they're coming up to their own conclusions but other than that karen and giselle getting this heated argument they start throwing jabs you know they they just doing the most they just playing dirty they they hitting below the belt with everything and they ain't gonna never be friends at this point i mean once you tell <laughs> once you know karen said to everybody that giselle has a hot box that she burning man it was on and popping right after that you know but 
Yourself got some good ones. She was like, I got the WAP box and she got the dry box. <laughs> you know, they talking about their husbands. It's getting crazy. You know, but they just ended it with Karen talking about her and I think it's either Mia or Yisel went to Sing Sing. Now, I don't know what that's about and that was the cliffhanger. That was it. And yeah, if you're still rocking, <laughs> we made it through episode one. So that's it for my uh commentary review and opinions on the real housewives of the potomac season six episode one please hit the like button subscribe to the channel on your way out and i'll see you guys next week for episode two of the real housewives of the potomac season six